Hi everyone, my name is Kautil Nishan and I'm pursuing a doctorate of business administration at Westcliff University. Through this presentation, I would like to propose a topic for future research, transformation in working culture among teaching professionals and aftermath of the pandemic. I would like to start off with some figures related to the pandemic. In December 2019, the world witnessed the emergence of new coronavirus. In less than three months, five million individuals were infected throughout the globe causing more than 300,000 fatalities across 216 nations. In March 2020, COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic and millions of individuals throughout the globe switched to working from home, or as some may call it, remote working. Moreover, in India, the country where I come from, the administration declared a complete nationwide lockdown. Fast forward to May 2022, there have been upwards of 527 million global cases with 6 million deaths and then there are 23 million currently infected patients across the globe. COVID-19 has led to several disruptions, both in personal and professional lives of people. One of the trends that arose after the pandemic was remote work. Remote work is defined as an employment agreement where the employee lives and works outside the company's average commuting radius. While remote working was not very common prior to the pandemic, the need for remote working grew exponentially after COVID-19. Most educational institutions across the world shifted their teaching and learning processes and put efforts into preparing online distance learning education to ensure continued uninterrupted education. While some did not face difficulty in this transformation, since they already implemented online or blended learning before the pandemic, a lot of other institutions, lecturers and students were not ready to adapt to these new conditions. Furthermore, Working remotely during COVID-19 has provided a model for flexible work practices to be studied even after the crisis and to guide working professionals to be aware of the difficulties of working from home. Remote work had its fair share of impact on education as well. The COVID-19 crisis was sudden and unexpected event. School disruptions due to the pandemic have consisted, in fact, one of the longest breaks of formal education in modern times in many countries. Schools often did not have educate online education infrastructure, teachers did not have proper training, and the conditions students had to had at home in terms of quality of internet connection were not clear. In fact, Carrillo and Flores highlighted how stressful it was for teachers to adapt their teaching style to meet the expectations of students, considering also the conditions in which the schools had to operate themselves. While the teacher and students managed to survive the onslaught of this disruption, the adaptation of remote work offered barriers in terms, of, in terms of remote learning and teaching. Let's look at some of the barriers. The lack of social interaction. During the pandemic, the primary burnout cause was the absence of separation between work and, work and life outside of work, followed by an unmanageable work overload. There were technological challenges as well. There were, even if there were like abundance of platforms, options and online educational tools available, both teaching professionals and students have sometimes faced technological challenges while using or making use of these online resources. In fact, in developing countries, as well as tier two and tier three cities in India, these challenges have been amplified by limited access to smartphones, laptops, and decent internet connections. It also led to decreased academic performance Due to the decreased contact time for students and absence of teacher consultation when students were facing problems in learning or comprehending, the academic performance of students in classes for both the year-end test and the internal assessment were expected to deteriorate. It also led to lack of mentoring and support and other challenges such as cost, flexibility and educational policies as well. Based on the literature, literature review, there were three key gaps in the current research. First, the focus of the research has been mostly on tier one cities within India, which drastically represents less than 7% of all the cities within the nation. Second, the researchers have focused on the pre-pandemic and pandemic era without enough emphasis on the future of remote work in the post-pandemic era. And third, the research do, does not address the inclination of the workforce towards switching back to offline teaching methods. Based on the literature review and identified gaps, the proposed future research could include an exploratory sequential mixed methods research design to explore and examine the impact of COVID-19 on working culture and emerging trends of working from home, especially focused on full-time teaching professionals in Patna, Bihar, which happens to be one of the tier two cities within the country. The exploratory sequential mixed methods design would include an initial qualitative phase of data collection and analysis through interviews it will be followed by a phase of quantitative data collection and analysis through surveys, 
with a final phase of integration and linking of data from the two separate strands of data to analyze the hypothesis and draft recommendations. Given the identified gaps from the literature review, the proposed research could help fill these gaps by analyzing the impact of pandemic on teaching professionals in tier two cities by considering Patna as a selected geography, understanding the experience of full-time professionals dealing with technology to educate stakeholders, teaching professionals, students, institutions, and society, and then aid them to better prepare for the post-pandemic era. And lastly, exploring the inclination of teaching professionals to continue with remote teaching to switch back to offline teaching, or even better to opt for a hybrid model, which includes both online and offline teaching. The proposed research would be significant to the following stakeholders, teaching professionals. Since the prime focus of the proposed study will be the full-time teaching professionals in Patna, the research findings and recommendations could assist the teaching professionals to better prepare for the future of workplace. The students, since the student experiences indirectly result from the teaching professionals methodologies, the proposed research could cater to students and could guide prospective students interested in this profession to understand the landscape and challenges faced by teaching professionals. It would also be important for educational institutions. Since educational institutions ecosystem includes both the teaching professionals and the students, the findings from the proposed research could aid the institution operational planning and designing of the appropriate infrastructure. In addition, the institutions could also learn the sentiment among teaching professionals and their inclination to return to the office. Finally, the society. Since society incorporates all these stakeholders, teaching professionals, students, and educational institutions, the potential findings could promote future funded research in this field and would help the government plan and implement initiatives focused on the education sector. One such example is the Digital India Campaign, through which the Indian government guarantees that the residents could access government services electronically via enhanced infrastructure. Thank you, and I'm open for questions.